Switching gears and the Army has a familiar slogan. We do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. The same could be said for the Liberty Crew team. They get up early and get after it. Teamwork is key, along with leaning on the Lord to be successful in a very demanding sport. There is a calmness when you come out. The lake is just absolutely still. The water is glass. I know I'm one of the more grumpier ones in the morning because I'm not a morning person. And I come out and the calmness of the water and just going out there helps me really cool down and it's very relaxing to go out. I wake up early and you kind of get here and you rush get on the water and then you just get that moment where you get to sit and just breathe a little bit and take your moment um, to yourself and then start your day well. The love of the sport drives you to wake up. It's like, I love what I do, so I get up every morning to do it. Crew people get up early, we work hard. Early mornings also tend to provide calmest water for us, um, so we can actually have a good way to teach technique. On foggy days like today, it's a little scary, but most of the time, it's just peaceful. Crew is also called rowing. You have one man, two man, four man, and eight man boats. And sculling means that each person has two oars in their hand, sweep is one. Um, and then basically you try and get all four people to row exactly together at every single point of their stroke. Every movement happens at the exact same time, same power, same rating, all of that. Perfection, basically. Okay. So half of it wide grip, half of it five and glide, and then we'll stop out there and assess. Okay. My coaching philosophy is to teach them the basic motion and then find a point where they actually start to sync together. You look for those four people, what makes them work well together. Spiritually, they need to be on board, they need to be leading each other, they need to be working with and encouraging each other, and then just rowing-wise, getting a stroke that actually works well together. Um, making sure that they know how to kind of make those small tweaks um, to adjust for each other in the boat to something that actually does end up as close to perfection as we can get. It's one of the most intense sports out there. Like people, it looks really peaceful out on the water, but when you're in the boat, you are exhausted and you're pulling as hard as possible. They go all out for 2,000 meters. It's not something that you can do on your own strength. You have to have another reason, another purpose to be able to give everything you have. You have to find that motivation. And for a lot of our rowers and a lot of our team, God is the reason that we do anything that we do. When you get to that point where it's like, I can't do this, like I physically can't or mentally I can't, like that's when you turn to the prayer and you pray like, Lord, carry me the rest of the way. Like I, I have nothing left, carry me. And I think that's what he calls us all to do. And this is just like a really good example of that. Like just resting and leaning on him and he'll carry the rest of the way. Well, we have a higher purpose. It's not just achieving perfection. We're achieving perfection because that's what we try to do in our faith and our daily walks as well. What is team sport trying to get everyone rowing the exact same yeah. way at the same time? That has to be tough. Not to mention they're doing it at like 5 in the morning. I don't want to be doing anything at 5 in the morning, much less something that difficult. I want to be sleeping Ill, that's at 5 the only in the morning. Thing, yeah.